We back in business, baby. All right, I got some good news for any new subscribers that are tuning into my channel. I'm actually gonna plug you into my free learn and earn program. Uh, so just stay till the end because I'm actually gonna share my strategy with you in this video as well. But everyone that's been subscribing to my channel, uh, this is day seven of the FTMO challenge. So stay tuned, I'm gonna share my equity curve. I'm gonna go into my FTMO account and break down day seven. Uh, I took another loss, so the losing streak continues, which is really shitty, but you know what? I'm having fun with it, I'm documenting my journey, and I'm being super transparent with my whole challenge, right? So just out of curiosity, um, are you looking to take the challenge, or maybe you're trying to study up before you take the challenge and, and try a new strategy out, or maybe you're a new day trader, right? Uh, just let me know in the comments below because I would love to know who you are, what you're about, and where you're trying to go. But yeah, anyways, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my whole entire screen with you guys. I'm gonna go over first the FTMO challenge and do my whole equity curve and show you my losing trades, my winning trades. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna break down my whole strategy uh, per request from one of my subscribers so that way you guys can actually incorporate this uh, for yourself. So stay tuned, enjoy this video, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and smash that like button and let's get it. All right, so we're back on the FTMO challenge right here. This is my actual challenge that I'm going through. So I started June 16th uh, and I have until July 15th to beat this challenge, okay? So in the beginning, once again, um, I was at $7,500 in profit, literally $2,500 away um, from passing this challenge. And then all after that, I just been on the way down uh, all the way to hell, right? Uh, so it feels really bad right now. I feel like a little stressed because now I have to like just perform to break even. Um, and then, you know, right here, you can see that I have a minimum trading day, a uh, minimum of seven days. Um, you need a minimum of 10 days to actually pass this test. And then uh, let's, let's hop into the trade that I actually lost last night so i got into a buy for gu um, and you're gonna see that i have it marked up still and so what i was looking at on the uh, one hour time frame was uh, these higher highs right so you could obviously see a trend um, up uh, up and up right here and um you know typically what i do is i i use the break and retest strategy to look for the opportunities so you know you're gonna see um higher highs higher lows right and then it came down around the zone and I anticipated it to create another high or even just come back to this uh, horizontal line which is a, a main uh, support slash resistance area so anyways um, I anticipated it going up and what it did was it came up for a little bit didn't lock in my profits because I wanted to finish out and then all of a sudden it dropped down low so looking at the bigger time frame, um, I'm gonna actually share my thoughts on why I actually lost this trade. So I'm gonna remove this and go to the four hour time frame. okay? Um, so let's go out to the daily actually. And what you're gonna notice is GU has been uh, bullish for some time now. Uh, this black line is a weekly uh, resistance and then this red is a daily uh, support level right so what happened was price broke down below uh, that daily support retested uh, on the 61.8 level so I pulled out my fib so let me get rid of this and try it again so I went from the high to the low and look where it's actually retesting it retested at 38 actually right and so that is that's a key level because what it's doing it's it's breaking below retesting and staying uh, below this zone right here. So um, right here, you're gonna see that this is a major support slash uh, resistance area, and then it's gonna continue down. So what I did was I I went for, I risked it, you know what I mean? Like I saw higher highs uh, being formed, and so I anticipated it going up to this uh, level once one more time, before the continuation down but what happened was uh, it actually started making its continuation down right after it hit that uh, major resistance area and it's starting to create lower highs now so what i think is going to happen is it's going to do something like this it broke down it's going to consolidate right here in this area could 
it could go up here in this area and then continue down but we're definitely looking bearish now for GU especially with the DXY you're gonna see that DXY is um, doing the same thing um, so US dollar just spiked uh, in value uh, retested which this is the 38 retracement I marked it up for you guys and then we should see a continuation to the upside right so the dollar is bullish and um, GU should be bearish um, so that was my mistake um, obviously um, you know you never win every single trade but that's pretty much it let's get into the strategy now uh, since we're talking about it I'm gonna remove everything and just stay on let's let's just do something else right we'll do something a little bit more um, juicy get rid of all my drawings let's go back in time all right so if you guys are new and you guys are looking for a new strategy what I'm gonna do is um, just show you guys how I mark up my charts what I look for and everything in between so typically what I do is I look uh, I take out my line chart and then I mark up uh, the, the wicks or the tops and bottoms right so these little pointing parts they're called vert vertices or vertexes singular and um, let's go to the most current time frame and then I just mark up more horizontal so right here I look for um, let me mark them on black actually so let's do this oops black so what I do is I look for at least three uh, to confirm that it's a solid support or resistance right okay and since we're on the weekly we don't need to do this a ton but let's go to the most recent support area so this looks good this one looks good right here okay so you're gonna see that we have this one right here we have another one over here a couple so we have a top and a bottom I'm pulling them out to you actually so we got one over here we have one right here so we're good um, so now that I'm done with the weekly markup I'm gonna go into the daily and we should see some more okay and don't forget to actually name these so we'll do weekly weekly oops and then daily we'll do something like this right so we, we look for the main support level areas right we'll do daily this is a good one right here so daily okay and then the four hour <clears throat> I start pulling out the candlesticks now right now that I have a good idea of where price action is um, I can start getting into my break and retest so break and retest is pretty much a price action oriented uh, strategy and then um, you know I would mark up zones to just kind of like see what's going on so these little wicks and everything um, are just tells right supply and demand tells that tell me a story and what it's telling me is like you know people are getting in in and out of the markets very frequently around this area okay so you don't have to be super extreme with the zone but just remind yourself that this is an actual supply demand area okay um, so break and retest it's very simple what I do is I look for price to break out of a major horizontal level that I just marked up right so when price breaks out and then retest uh, uh, to make a support then we should look for a continuation up right and and what I do to really give me more confirmations is sometimes I'll use the fibs to really see if this is a, a good retracement um, for an opportunity but um, typically when, when you see a major uh, zone being tested that should give you enough clues uh, to actually get excited to get into that uh, opportunity right so in this case we see we're looking at euro JPY huge impulse to the upside broke out of not only one right so here's our first break and retest broke out retested 
continuation. And then what happened was price broke out, retested. You're going to see a ton of wicks right here. So these three wicks is just a sign of exhaustion in the market for Euro JPY, right? And then th this was the best opportunity to get in for a buy. Um, and then we should anticipate price action. Uh, I mean, price to actually go bullish again, right? So since price is above this zone, retested, uh, what I would do is float into the one hour time frame, right? And then um, look for uh, a sign, right? And so, and in this case, um, let me just pull out my fib just to give me a little bit more confidence, right? So what happened is I took it from the bottom to the top, right? So the most previous um, lower high uh, to the, the highest high. And then you see this 38, it retraced to the 38 level, right? So that is a significant, um, you know, retracement, some 68, uh, the 68 is the most uh, popular that's that's what it's for the 68 is the most ideal but because price is above this zone and, and it's holding up um, holding right here um, <clears throat> then what I would do is now look for my take profit areas and how I do that is I look left so looking left on the one hour time frame I'm gonna look for uh, more price action areas so in this case you're gonna see <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, we're gonna see something like this. Okay. So this zone right here would be an ideal take profit area. Okay. So if we're looking at this opportunity from right here, this point, let's say we were to get into this opportunity. Um, I would put my stop loss below the zone, right? So right here. And then I would take my profit to the next zone, right? Or area. Um, and then that's about it. Maybe I'd, I would drag my, um, you know, my stop loss a little bit lower since this is a big risk to reward, just to be safer, give it a little bit more wiggle room. Uh, this is a three to one risk to reward. Um, um, you know, support levels, it's holding, price is holding above that support level. And then I would get in for a buy. And that's that's the whole strategy. There's nothing crazy um, about it. It's very simple. You know, sometimes I, I do take out the uh, the EMAs. So I use the uh, 205200. Um, if you guys want to learn about that, comment in the descriptions below. Or I mean, comment on this video and we can kind of get into something a little bit more granular. But in this case, I want to keep it simple, break and retest, look for price to come out of the major zone areas. Once it retests to create a new support or resistance, get in for a buy or a sell and then take it to the next price action area or the next zone looking left in history. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully I gave you a lot of insight. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, if you're new to this channel and you like my style, go ahead and smash that like button, comment and subscribe. Nate signing out.